Hello everyone. Thank you for joining Remote Sensing and GIS Question and Answer Session Series. In today's question, we'll see how we can able to merge different shapefile into single shapefile. So if you have a different shapefile polygons or lines or point data and you want to merge it into one single shapefile, how we can able to do that? So first, I will show you I have some data set. Okay. So this data set I have and I'm interested to merge this data set. So where you will get this district shape file or any shape file. So for that, you can go and visit our channel. In our channel, I have shown how to download the data set for district or state boundary or also for Taluka level, you can able to download from here. So after that, I have this data sets. Okay. I have some different splits polygons are there. So you will see the, there are number of polygons are there. Okay. So let I will add it. So you will see this polygons I have. So there are number of polygons are there and how we can able to merge them all together. Okay. This technique will do in QGIS also and in ArcGIS also. So we'll, we'll see first in ArcGIS. So to do this, we just need to go to Arc toolbox. Okay. In the Arc toolbox, there is a data management tool. In the data management tool, there is a general. In the general, there is a merge option is there. Okay, we can merge all this polygon. So to merge this, just need to click on the merge and you add all this data set. Okay, what are the data you want to merge? So from here, one by one, you can add. Okay, like this one by one, what are the things you want to add? Or otherwise, if you want to add in bulk, all this, you can go here. And from here, you need to search the place where you have kept all the data and you can select the bulk from here. Okay. If you select bulk data and you can add from here. Okay. So right now I will show just for this example, this data I'm adding here. So I'm interested to merge this. So just need to provide your output location where you want to save it. So let I will save here. So in the split poly. I will save by the name of merge poly. So just click on OK. So what we are doing now, if you'll see what are the data sets are there that we are merging together. So yes, our merge is completed. So if I will select this or if I will copy this and open into new arc map. You'll understand this, the things we have merged here and you can check the attribute table. Whatever we have added, it is merged here. So this way you can very easily merge this. So how we can able to do these things in QGIS. So just need to go to QGIS and add data from here layer add layer add vector layer choose a folder where you're working so now i'm working here in t drive and split polygon option is there split poly okay so like this i will add some district here Okay, open, add and close. So these are the districts and I'm interested to merge this all together. So search here. So merge option is there. So in that merge option, you will see merge vector layer. So select all this from here. So if I'll click on the select all, it will select all. Okay. Then you provide your output location where you want to save this. So the folder which you are working. So M E R G merge to save and run. So there it is. Now if you'll see this, it is merge. 
So very easily you can do these things in QGIS also and also in ArcGIS also. So let I will show you the attribute table. So what are the districts are here that all merge. So this way you can apply this technique with the line. If you have different roads and you want to merge them into one shape file, that also you can do. If you have different point shape file and you want to combine all the point together, you can combine all these things. So it is very easy to do. So if you have any doubts, you can ask in the comment sections. So telegram link is given in the description box. Our telegram channel is there. You can join our telegram group.